Hello peeps, my name is Nimble and welcome to our very first quick tip. Um, these videos are going to be uh, short, um, some are going to be ridiculously short. Um, I'll be showing you features which you may not or may know, but um, yeah, they're going to be uh, features that will hopefully uh, better your workflow or work process or whatever you call it so let's jump right in um so i'm working on this project right now a video uh hopefully done soon but um if you're smart enough i hope you are you'll probably notice that i don't have any layer in this composition at all um but i'm still able to scrub through um and you can see that there's actually um some playback here and I'm actually using the view which is used for the composition, so um, yeah, how is that possible, you ask? Um, it's all the magic of this button right here. This is the shy button. Um, exactly as it says there, uh, hides all layers from which the shy switch is set. So if I press this, um, everything is revealed again, and you can see that all my layers have reappeared. Um, this feature is extremely helpful if you have a chunk of layers that you only want to um, work with because you can see how I'm scrolling up and down here if I don't want that and I have a lot of stuff going on I can always just say I want these layers to stay put and the rest I'm just going to hide so I can play with this the way with this works, I just showed you before, is this uh, thingy here. If you have it like this, you can always toggle the switch or mode. And you can just press this shy layer um, button thingy switch. Um, and if you do that and you have the button pressed down selected here, it'll uh, shy the layer. And I mean, you can't do anything with it, but it'll still be there. That's basically how this works, so I can just keep all this and um, press the share button and you can see nothing happens. The other feature which I'm going to be showing you, yay we have two in one huh, um, <laughs> is the solo layer uh, function. Um, you can see the circle over here, again the description says solo hides all known solo video. What is meant by that is if I actually do press, let's say here we have this, uh, solo this, this is the only thing I'll be able to see. Everything else is black, even though I've actually gone layers here, which should be able to show me something, you saw that before. But since I've soloed this, it'll exclude everything else. Even if I have, say here, um, please work with me. Yeah, this blur effect on. And it's applied to an adjustment layer, but if I solo the footage, that effect will be gone because it's only showing this layer down here. Um, this is also extremely helpful if I, for example, want to do some text here. I can just solo this layer and not worry about me going around here and doing all types of stuff. And the cool thing is that if I actually create a new, let's say, solid, It'll solo that too because it's it knows that I'm I'm doing something certain and um, everything that I'm going to be doing from now on will will be in this solo um, session. Um, yeah, so that's basically how uh, soloing works, and these two features are extremely helpful in your workflow because. You can exclude everything else if you have a big project going like I have here. Not that big, but still a lot of layers. And I can just um, solo or hide the layers I'm not using. I was, for example, not using let's see here all these layers. Um, not even this. Uh, let's see here. There. That's basically what I was doing before. And uh, my footage is still going here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed those. Um, I haven't really been uploading anything, special animations, because um, I'm 
spending my time on Twitch. There's a link in the description where you can find me on Twitch because that's where I'm half of the time if I'm not on YouTube. So yeah, hope you tune in and uh, besides that, I'll, um, I'll see you on the next one.